John Lloyd was a he was a huge role model to everyone. He was like a like a brother to me. The community we grew up in is the same community that took our friend away. Manitoba's Filipino community is in shock from the death of 19-year-old John Lloyd Barron, who died Tuesday after being found injured here outside this Winnipeg beer vendor. Barron's friends describe him as a hardworking, responsible young man, and they are devastated by his death, which is now being investigated by Winnipeg police as a homicide. Barron was found badly injured around 3 a.m. outside the beer vendor where he worked. He was rushed to hospital, where he later died. Kiko Mapuyen, Earl Dizon, and Joshua Lim were Barron's close friends. The three have been sleeping over, sharing memories of Barron since his passing. We were reminisced about, about all the good times, biking with him, playing basketball with him, just hanging out with him. I still feel like John Lloyd isn't gone. We want justice for our friends. This, this, this shouldn't have happened in the first place. The friends have started a hashtag called Justice for John Lloyd. They don't want their friend to become another statistic, says Lim, and they want Barron and his family to have justice. We want to see people post about it. We want to see people share about it. We want John Lloyd's name to be chanted for months on end, too, so that we can see justice as fast as possible. The 204 Neighborhood Watch Group is supporting Barron's family right now and helping them plan a vigil in Barron's memory. We uh, gather together to offer prayers. 204 Neighborhood Watch spokesperson Pons Mapoyen says Barron's death has reopened old wounds in the Filipino community who lost 17-year-old Jamie Adao, who was murdered in a home invasion in 2019. Mapoyen says after Adao's death, the 204 Neighborhood Watch group launched a forum with Winnipeg police focusing on crime and public safety. Mapoyen wonders if more could have been done over the last three years that could have kept Barron safe. We may have let another teenager down. Because we, there might have been some lapses somewhere along the way. We'd like to do that audit and find out if there's anything else that can be done. The vigil will be held on Saturday at 1400 Notre Dame Avenue. Those attending are asked to wear masks. In Winnipeg, Mark Neufeld, City News.